what is going on guys this is the belted jedi and recently nightingale actually launched private servers what we're going to do today is actually show you how to set up your own rent your own private server through g portal we also have a discount code so you can make sure you want to make sure you use this link so you can actually save on your private server so but in the future this uh, page may look different so what we're going to do is go to the link in the description I'll also uh, post in the comments too and then click on game servers on the left or rent a server and then just search up night in gale here we go and then what we're going to do is just kind of explain the process to you then i'll show you how to use your server then i'm going to show you how to actually log in to your server as well all right first thing we want to do here is we're going to take a look at your different plans you can actually make your own custom configuration here but there's a couple of different configurations to get started so make sure you're on the type of server you want to rent g portal actually has all kinds of game servers everything from minecraft dune awakening oh my gosh but for nightingale you can get 30 days with four slots so you can have four players online so you can get 30 days with four slots for seven dollars uh 90 days four slots you can do 30 days six slots or you can build your own configuration over here if you need additional slots so what you can do is just click on the drop down and then pick like uh one of the closest locations to you to make sure you're gonna get the best ping and then you just hit order now and then from there you'll need to actually sign in if you don't already have an account you can go ahead and register a new account here or you can actually sign in right here since I already have my own account, I'm going to go ahead and sign in. You're going to see um, it's going to ask you for payment. You can choose PayPal or you can do different credit cards, uh, pay safe card. They got a lot of different options there. You'll actually see the discount from my link uh, applied here. So once you purchase this, it'll change the page and you'll be able to access your server. So once you're logged in, you're going to see different game clouds over here on the left. I'm going to click on Nightingale and I'm going to show you guys how to set this up. This is our server here. It is currently stopped you can see this up here this status page over here on the left game server load and like when the server's running you can actually see your kind of your cpu usage your ram down below you have some more access data this might be useful to you in the future where you can actually see your ftp you also see your access and ip now this is blocked out by default now for security but we'll come back to that in just a moment so to start configuring your server on the left side click on basic settings this is what you're going to see under basic settings. It's actually super easy to set this up. Your max players is here. It's going to kind of be your server password that you would give out to your friends. So I'm just going to call this just as an example. Like, you know, this is my Nightingale Pass 01. Don't use that. Use something better than that. Capital letters, lowercase numbers, things like that. And then you have an admin pass. That is so an admin administer the server. So super secret admin 74 down here. You can set your starting difficulty, easy, medium, hard, extreme, whatever you want to choose. Right. And then you can say enable cheats. This would allow an admin to get in and use cheats if they want, or, you know, not whatever you want. But then when you're done, make sure you hit save. Next, we're going to go ahead and start the server and just do that by toggling this little guy right here if you click back on the status page actually after a moment start to see this sort of stuff populate while it's kind of starting up we'll take a look at some of these other options on the left we have a file manager here and you kind of see like different files and folders that are on the server itself like from a local save or something you'll have logs on the left that you can access as an administrator you can schedule restarts so you can do daily weekly or monthly and then you can go over and hit backups and have automatic backups if you like just toggle it on now if you want to have automatic backups and then you have permissions over here so on this permissions tab this is where you can enter somebody else that has a g portal account just have them you know if you have like a friend you want to have access to make sure they can restart the server or uh help you administer don't give them your username and password to your g portal account that's a bad idea just use the permissions and then on the left if you need help uh or you got the support you got wiki and you got the discord all over here on the left and before we do that we need to find your ip address you'll do that by clicking on the i here 
this little eyeball symbol and you want to copy that IP address. Okay, so we're kind of hopping in the game here and you just click on play and you're going to say join a game. Uh, enter connection details, right? So just click on this drop down and choose IP slash LAN and that that IP address that you copied, you should just be able to basically hit control V and paste that guy right in there. It actually remembers it for you too. Then just go back to your G portal. Make sure you have the password that you set up right here. Come back here and paste it in this field. Click on play. Okay, so I'm loaded in the server here and you would pretty much be at the starting area on your server. I'm a little bit past there. So I've been just kind of testing out the servers, but uh, yeah, it's really that easy. Hit escape right here and see this admin mode. It says off. So if you click, it's going to ask you for your password. So I'm going to hop back to my server page, copy my super secret admin password, give it the old paste and confirm password verified. Administrative features are now unlocked. Yeah, it's really that easy. And then once you're in your admin mode, you'll have this little debug menu up here. You come here and be like, okay, I need to find uh, certain resources. Let's say I need some of this ore. Just kind of click some of that and you will see inside your backpack, we have some of this ore now. And that is how easy it is to set up your server for G portal. Make sure you guys use the discount code below. Get your discount. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one.